guys, John Sonmas here from simpleprogrammer.com. And today I want to talk to you about something. I wasn't quite sure how to present this to you, but I want to talk to you about something really, really serious, which is remote logging. <laughs> yes, I know. I know you're not supposed to talk about religion and politics and remote logging, but I'm going to do it in this video. If you guys are just joining me for the first time, I'm John from simpleprogrammer.com on this channel. I teach you the soft skills you need to become a better developer and a better human being. And uh, if you haven't already, check out my book. I don't have it with me, but it is uh, Soft Skills Software Developers Life Manual and the Complete Software Developers Career Guide. You can find it in the links up here. All right. So what I want to talk about today is is my app development process <laughs> and uh, some of the biggest struggles that I faced during that. I don't know if you if you're interested in becoming a mobile app developer, if you are a mobile app developer, oh, you're going to want to hear this because I got I got a solution for you. But I don't know if you know, but one of the first things that got me started as an entrepreneur was a mobile app I built called Pace Maker. OK, and it is it, it doesn't doesn't check your heart. <laughs> what it does is it keeps you on pace when running. So I developed this app. I developed an iOS and an an Android version of it. I did the Android version first. I learned Android development, learned iOS development for this. And one of the things that probably actually caused me to eventually stop working on the app was the the bugs and the crashes, right? So, you know, here I am, you know, I developed my version of the app, you know, test on my Android phone, I would go for a run and it would work. Okay. And then when I did the iPhone version, I got my iPhone as well. And I put it on there. And, you know, I would put it on the app store. And I would get all these people that would complain to say it's not working. It's not loading for me. It just crashes. Right. And it's really, really frustrating because I I don't have any way to even communicate with these people. Right. They bought it from the app store. They've downloaded the app. OK, I don't have any communication like the only communication I have is if they happen to email me. So anyway. I have run across a company. Actually, they contacted me. Uh, the company I'm going to show you right here is called Bug Fender. OK. And, you know, I don't do a lot of advertising on this channel. Not a whole lot. You know, I just I sell my own products and stuff like that. But let me tell you something about this. I read through the story, the origin story of this this software. OK, and it was really, really interesting. OK, you know, I'm an entrepreneur right at, at heart. OK, uh, I, you know, MRR monthly revenue big thing, right? It's hard to start a business, right? But, you know, these guys, uh, they they really have put together a, a solid product and, you know, and I want to see them become successful. So I'm going to tell you about their product. Okay. Now, if you guys don't want to hear about a mobile app, you know, reporting, uh, remote logging, crash reporting, that's totally fine. But you know what, if you do any kind of app development, and not just app, they, they do it for web as well, right? If you, if you look at the platforms that they support here, it is uh, iOS, Android and JavaScript. So you can actually use it in, in JavaScript, React, right? Unity even, okay? All of these these uh, places, right? This this is a really, really cool app that solves a problem, right? So what does Bugfender do? OK, what Bugfender does is this. OK, you just put a little bit of instrumentation code OK, into your application. All right. So you're, you're making your mobile app, right? And it, it works, let's say, for iOS. OK, when your iOS app starts up, you initialize basically Bug Defender or Bug Fender in there. OK, and then what you do is you have access to the logs and you can log anything that you want. So again, remember my whole problem with my application, with my pacemaker app, right? Especially I was using GPS and stuff like that. So, you know, things could crash. People are using different networks, Wi-Fi, you know, different how many different distributions of Android and and phone models were out there. Well, I couldn't tell who the user was and what they did, but with something like bug fender all you gotta do is you go in there all right and you instrument it you could do it for your, your android app for your ios app and then they have a web interface where you can see uh, exactly what's happening in real time and it also offline so i thought this was really cool all right uh, if you check out this article uh jordy one of the founders of bug fender and I believe Alexi, uh, they they have their whole story here and it's really cool. It's a really cool story as an entrepreneur. You know, I really appreciate uh, this story and what they did to to figure this out and to, to build this application up. So, you know, if you are interested at all in in mobile app development, go check this out. Go check out the, the story. And, and I think you'll you'll find that their company is is really cool. All right. You know, it's, it's remote logging. It's crash reporting. You can get user feedback from it as well. All right. 
and you know it's uh it, it's it's fairly well priced too right so you look at the pricing here and they have a free uh, version, right? Uh, but the basic version is going to cover uh, most things here, right? Uh, you got seven day log retention, five team members here. Uh, then they've got, you know, pro version here and then a premium version, you know, pretty decent pricing for this, depending on how big, you know, how many applications that you're you're utilizing. So anyway, guys, you know, go check it out. I put a link down below here. There'll be a link in the cards as well for for Bug Fender. And, you know, like I said, really solid company and good software. I wish I had this when I was doing mobile app development. You know, like I said, uh, it's uh, it's it's really helpful to be able to know what users are doing. And this is a, a unique problem, I think, for mobile apps. Uh, actually, the two founders of the of a bug fender they both sort of stumbled on this because they both had the same problem and i know that you know most most people that are doing app development have this exact problem this problem that i just described which is that you've got the apps out there in the wild you've got people with all different kinds of devices and configurations and you 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 can't get communication with them right you need to know you need to see the log files right to be able to see that in real time to be able to go through all the devices that are using your application and all the users and to be able to see what the logs are see what they're doing see why they crashed to get all that analytics and data so so critical so important so go check it out again uh, bugfender.com i'll put the link down below make sure you click that link and um and tell them you came here from simple programmer but uh but yeah i appreciate you guys and and you know again like i said i, I appreciate the entrepreneurial spirit you know these these guys uh put together this company you know bootstrap this thing you know just like i have with with my companies and so you know if you're looking if you're doing mobile app development at least give it a try go go support them you know and and check it out i i, I don't think you'll be disappointed honestly uh and uh and let me know let me know you know if you check it out if you're using bug fender already leave a comment down below and uh spread the word you know because i think this is something that everyone can use and you know sometimes it's hard as an entrepreneur to get the marketing message out there and so if you guys can help spread that word for them you know i'm sure they would appreciate it i would appreciate it as an entrepreneur it's just uh it's just a, a good thing to to be able to do and it's still useful right it's such a useful application that i think that everyone who's doing mobile app development could use so all right guys uh talk to you next time take care